certainly HPV, the same types of HPV that cause cancer in women of the cervix and the vagina and the vulva, also cause cancers in men of the penis and of the anus. And then for both men and women, we have head and neck cancers and oral cancers, and they're caused by the exact same high-risk HPV types. It becomes important when you talk about numbers, it's about 40,000 men a year, which is a big number, but small number in comparison with the 400,000 women a year who have cervical cancer, but certainly worthwhile looking at. A vaccine like Cerberix could be useful for, for males and for boys? We hope so. We hope so. To be able to show that in a scientific manner would take studies of a very, very long period of time. So it may be that it would just be used in men off-label, meaning that it's approved and available for women, but we don't have the studies yet to show it's effective, but everything about it is safe and everything about it is immunogenic, so the possible efficacy may be there and that we'll wait and see it at a later point in time.